Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of December general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. And I wish you all a happy holiday. I hope you enjoy your time with your family and friends. And if you do not have family and friends or anyone to um, celebrate or enjoy this time with, I'm sending you all love and peace during this time, okay? Um, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Hold On by In Vogue. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. You got the full card. They're saying, hold on, because there's a new start here. There's a brand new start here. I feel like somebody who was acting a damn fool, there could be a new start with you and this person. They say over and over again in the hook of the song, hold on to your love. So this definitely is making me think this is associated with a love situation here. Somebody may have played you and you feel like they played you like a fool. They were act somebody was acting a fool and someone feels like someone has played them for a fool. You got Aries Aquarius energy, also Gemini and Cancer. Yeah, definitely associated with a love interest. You have this dog here. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. Also, I do feel like someone has changed their ways. Mm, interesting. And I'm saying change their ways because butterflies are a symbol of transformation because they change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. But I'm also hearing you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But clearly you can't because he's jumping through hoops. This person will be jumping through hoops for some type of new change with you. Some type of new start. And they're hoping that you just hold on and just wait for them to get their shit together. I don't feel like it's going to be a long time. With Major Arcana, that's a definite energy. So I feel like this person has realized, like, okay, it's time to stop playing. I'm just getting You see how he has his mask on? Just being goofy. Like, this person's being goofy or was being goofy. Antics. I'm hearing, like, antics. Like, this person was doing a lot of irresponsible things. Possibly with money. I'm just noticing how he has, like, this little pouch right here. Somebody was irresponsible with funds and caused some type of discord in your connection with them. Okay? And also, on an emotional level, this person has bossed up emotionally as well. So we're going to go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which happens to be the devil. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll get clarifiers for both. Yeah, I said somebody definitely was like messing up the finances, but they're trying to balance things. They're trying to make things right. Could be done with a Libra because you do have that scale there. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be tired, like sick and tired of having to pick up the pieces because he looks tired out and worn just like exhausted always having to make things happen because this person is just all over the place seven of cups is illusion confusion feeling scattered but it's also keeping your options open and just having a lot going on because there's something in every single one of these cups so it's like you're dealing with someone who just was <clears throat> not balancing finance as well especially if you share if you live with someone like the, this is a domestic situation where you live with this person you're married engaged you guys live under the same roof it's like this person was just doing all types of everything and they weren't being responsible with how they were investing money or spending money. But like I said, there's going to be a reconciliation. You got the judgment card. And again, somebody's judgment was very poor as well. You know, they weren't making the best judgment calls, but I feel like they're trying to work it out. They're trying to balance the situation here. Could be dealing with a Leo. You got the strength card. And it's like you or this person, somebody in the situation had to put their foot down. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. And the fact she has this sword up, it's like, okay, I, I'm going to have to tell you about yourself. Look at her face. And again, the name of the song is Hold On. And somebody could be like, hold on, God damn it. Don't, don't you do, don't you spend another damn dime. Also, someone has been holding their tongue. Because swords, again, is communication and mental. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. So somebody's been holding their tongue, but they're going to speak out. I feel like they definitely were holding their tongue. You are someone, because if you notice, she has a chain around this lion's throat. And that's your throat chakra. That's communication there. Hmm. Someone needs to get their blood pressure checked also because I'm, I'm hearing like somebody may have been feeling lightheaded or dizzy. This could be a symptom. And again, disclaimer, I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I'm just putting it out there. This could be a symptom of someone who is dealing with blood pressure issues. Hell, somebody stressed you out till you feel like you do have high blood pressure now. And then the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, but strong Taurus. But again, going back to somebody now being more responsible with the finances, because the King of Pentacles is very financially um, responsible. 
So let's go. Yeah, oh, I like this. So right up under here, this is somebody who's realizing how the importance of balancing things in life, because this definitely talks about balance. And it's like it's it's allowing you two to go back to where you were when things first started with love, feeling fresh, feeling rejuvenated, and, and love coming back in. This is like romance being swept off your feet. And then you got the star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely done with a Leo. Also, Aquarius energy here with the star. Again, this is healing. That's major arcana, so it's definite. So there's healing with you and this person in this situation here. Okay. So again, we want to get the devil and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And this could have been a long, long damn time coming because look, we're all, we're all the way towards the back and we still don't have your major arcana. And it's all the way at the back, literally. So the card, yeah, this is a long time coming. So right in front of you, you have somebody definitely dealing with a fire sign. Leo Sag Aries here. The Ace of Wands, again, there's like a renewal of passion because this could be a very phallic, very sexual energy here. This is definitely someone that you have a soulmate connection with because I always look at this like red strings of fate. Very passionate connection. Things could have started turning for the better coming towards the end of Sag season, which we just left out of. Right behind it, you have the Queen of Cups. Someone could be pregnant. Okay, there's those dolls again, loyalty, companionship, and wow, definitely a Leo for some of you guys. Somebody could be pregnant here. Someone could be pregnant, and if you're not of the age to conceive, this could be, you know, with someone that you, you have children with already, or, you know, the, the Queen of Cups is a mother-like figure. You could definitely feel like instead of being a partner, you have to be like a mother to this person. Getting it also. First, middle, last initials of you or your person could be A O F W D S T Q U. I just heard Eunice. And I don't know Eunice typically starts with an E, but I'm hearing Eunice with like a U, like a very unique way of spelling Eunice. Also, as I'm saying Eunice, I'm hearing unit, like you guys move as one unit. You guys are learning to work together more. I'm getting it also. So you have the Ace of Wands and then you have the Queen of Cups. I'm, I keep getting that somebody's going to be pregnant here. Ooh, so some of you guys could be telling, like, gifting people because you see how you have that ribbon here and we are in the holiday season. Some of you guys could be um, surprising your family and friends and letting them know that you're pregnant or that your partner is pregnant, which that's you guys together. Also, if it's not you and your person, again, if you're not of age-bearing um, years to become pregnant, Someone close to you, like your child, could be pregnant. Specifically, a daughter. And I don't, don't be like Queen Air Bender, duh. But no, you could have a son, and then his partner could be pregnant. But I feel like your daughter, your daughter specifically, could be pregnant. Bottom of the deck, you got the Five of Pentacles, Lack, Loss, and Abandonment, being left out in the cold. Uh, as I'm looking at this, I'm hearing again now the song, Hold On To Your Love. Like, you know, you, because this is Pentacles, you could feel inclined to walk away, but this person is going to let you get away, not so quickly. They want a new start. That's what I'm getting here. As we part the deck, you have the High Priestess. Some of you guys need to listen to your intuition because your intuition is telling you everything you need to know about a situation with your person. First middle last initial could be J B C O U M H W P or S. Something that you were questioning, you already know the answer to also. Because she has the scroll here, which is her receipt. She got proof. She has proof of something. Also, that that scroll that she was holding could be results. Like I, I keep getting somebody's gonna be pregnant here. So I'm getting some results of a pregnancy, and it's going to be positive. A pregnancy, uh, pregnancy test is going to be positive. Some of me have also lost a pregnancy because you do have this family card in reverse. Someone could have found out they were pregnant and then lost one, or lost a pregnancy. Could have possibly found out in a water sign season, Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio season, there was a loss of a pregnancy. And getting also, yeah, and then someone could feel like devastated by it. Yeah, because this is lost. Four of Pentacles of Right is holding on for their life and reverse is a loss. For someone, and again, my condolences if that is the case. <clears throat> Let's hit a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. You got the Six of Pentacles. Again, it needs to balance something out. 
Like, I feel like somebody could have been really reckless with money to the point where it's like living from check to check, check, because there's breadcrumbs there being distributed. But I feel like things are getting balanced. They, just hold on. Things are getting ready to be balanced. Again, those skills. Something is getting ready to balance out. There's going to be some type of healing. Because also, keep in mind, fire energy does denote healing also. Because when you think about it, like the phoenix, it rises from the ashes. And it's all the more powerful. You know, that fire energy is like burning away all the things that were not in alignment. And then it's allowing you to come back more powerful, stronger than ever. Okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Ooh, that flew out. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Absolutely. I feel like for some of you guys, it definitely, situations with you and your person definitely surround your monetary life. Finances. Somebody could be spending money without telling you about it. Because here they're working together. They're establishing something together. In reverse. And also, I feel like in the reverse, this could be somebody spending money and not telling you. I really get that. Somebody's spending money and not telling you about it. And also some of you guys, you see how it looks like they're in a chapel. And then this could be like matrimony. Like this could be a marriage certificate or something like that. In reverse, some of you guys may have even considered divorce. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, definitely a Leo for some of you guys. They're saying, hold on. You see how she's holding on to the lion's mouth? Again, the name of the song that I heard was Hold On by In Vogue. I also heard Le uh, Virgo, strong Virgo energy. And you do have three of pentacles here towards Virgo Capricorn. Something significant could have happened in Virgo season, August, September. And Virgo season and Leo season share a month, August. So something significant with August also. Also, some of you guys could have been with this person for eight years. And as I'm saying that, I'm seeing this infinity symbol over here sideways. That's eight. So something with eight. You could be a personal year, a life path number eight, or your person can be. Over the last eight months, you really had to stay strong in order for you and your person to work through your differences also. Someone also could have, okay, I'm hearing also someone could be eight months pregnant or eight weeks. Eight weeks or eight months pregnant. I know that's a big gap, but, you know, this, again, this is general, so this could apply to many people. So let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Clarifier for the Queen of Cups for Capricorn, Summer, Rise, and Venus. Damn, the card... Something with eight for sure. Look, that flipped all the way over there and you got the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, mm, I don't like it. But I just have to say, like, somebody may have lost the pregnancy because upright, you know, it's something going through. It's something moving forward in reverse. It's like, and she clearly has a baby bump here. Somebody definitely lost the pregnancy. Possibly in August because you keep getting this eight energy. Definitely can be involved, involved in an August Leo. You kept getting Leo. But also, I feel like somebody may have gotten some news stating that they, they're not able to get pregnant also. Or somebody's holding back news about a pregnancy because they feel like people won't be happy or supported. I feel like that's just in someone's head because if you see how the, the, the dogs are right on each side of her. And dogs are support systems. They are companions. They are, they're very loyal to their owners. So someone may feel as though family and friends won't support it. But I, I do feel like there's more support than you know. Someone also could be born in the year of the dog or the year of the dragon. Somebody has a turtle. <laughs> That's very interesting because I wasn't even trying to pick that up. But somebody has a pet turtle. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Also, then I'm hearing somebody's moving slow as a tortoise. Like, it took a while for somebody to get their shit together. But finally, they're doing it. Yeah, slow. Because Eight of Wands is fast moving. In reverse, somebody's, somebody... It, it took a long time for this person to catch on to get the act together. But I feel like they will because you have this Ace of Wands here. And that's that's a gift from the universe. The universe is supporting this for a movement. I just heard Bright Star. Somebody's having some type of spiritual awakening also. And again, there could be an association with an Aquarius here. Because Star and Major Arcana is Aquarius. Also, Aquarius season, January, February, something significant could play out with your relationship as well. I've been getting throughout all these readings, strong energy with February. If we're associating with Aquarius season, something with February is playing out. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. Yeah, somebody's in the head a lot. Again, potentially about a relationship, like wondering whether or not you should put an ending to this relationship or divorce or something. Because here this person is sleeping alone. Sleepless nights really in their head. They're telling you to hold on. Just hold on. Like I said, the song, hold on to your love. Hold on. Hold on, because there's going to be a new start here. If you are completely single, 
you won't be single for long. Okay, this is someone who's alone. Mm -mm. The universe is sending some, someone in, and this person could definitely be a fire sign here. And you may end up starting a family with this individual, male or female. Just put it where it applies in your situation. Okay? So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.